in a finish that would have made former Deacon Tim Duncan very proud. Wake Forest 88-84. This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Now Steve Martin, Corey Alexander, just another night out at the park on Tuesday night as Wake Forest had to hold on after getting a 24-point lead to pick up a four-point victory over NC State and get a season split on the series. They did it in two ways. They did it from the outside and defensively, they did it from the inside. During the first half, Wake Forest was able to knock down nine three-pointers, and they really got it going and got the crowd into it. It was Cody Miller McIntyre getting it started, knocking down the three. Dino Smitigal was able to knock down three three-pointers, and they really had it going from a number of different guys. Darius Leonard was able to knock down a couple as well, so the three-pointer was the saving grace for the Demon Deacons in the first half, but their defense, the block shots, is really what helped them out and allowed them to be able to finish this game. The energy and the effort, Andre Washington coming up with a big shot, and then Cody Miller McIntyre wasn't just one person for Wake Forest with one block. It was multiple guys, multiple guys blocking shots. Well, this is a team that averages four blocks a game. For them to come up as a team with 11 is a pretty good achievement. Well, then you look at the other side. NC State had zero, and they have the ACC's block leader, B.J. Anya. So Wake Forest, of course, winning the battle there, which allowed them to help win the game. 88-84 the final, and this is the ACC Digital Network. It's brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. It's Wake Forest splitting the season series with NC State with a four-point win. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.